Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Soul Tide video. Alright, so if you guys are not aware, there's currently new banners going on and a couple of new things as well. In terms of the banner, alright, if we go to the evoke right here, you will be able to tell uh, this one is still the same. Gawana is still there. If you want to pull for her, go ahead and pull for her. She's actually really, really good. Alright, we're going to talk about her later. But the Moon Palace, as you can see, now we got two new... Uh, dolls that are featured right here. Number one, we have Ruri, Sakura, Mirage, and then Nicolette, which is a mad alchemist. So let's have a look at both of them individually. I'm gonna talk about their skills. So for Ruri right here, if you notice, she is a physical damage dealer. So I believe most players should have at least two to three physical damage dealers already. You can see uh, she's, she's mostly focused on inflicting stacks of bleed right here. And then you can see attacks force in the front row, dealing physical damage, and of course two stacks of bleed with a 50% chance and increase her attack per bleed on the foes, which I do like it. And the last but not least, this is the ultimate skill, attacks foes in front row, dealing physical damage and inflicting Kaboom. So Kaboom will basically deal uh, bleed damage per stack of bleed, which is pretty crazy. So she's all focused on bleed. If you're looking for like a damage dealer that, you know, based on bleed, uh, I think she's pretty good. She's one of the best damage dealer there is. So let's have a look at the other skill set right here, the Phantom Surge. This one is pretty cool. Uh, dealing damage again physical as you can see. Both are physical. So this one deals two times when performed from stealth. Dual Shuriken ignores 15% of target's defense. And then uh, at the start of each turn, she will gain stealth. And attacks from stealth deal increased damage. And the ultimate skill uh, dealing more physical damage. And Phantom Shuriken actually deals 2% increased damage per 5% HP the target has. So uh, I don't think she's anything spectacular. In terms of the meta-wise, I would say uh, you should be fine without having her because we have a lot of damage dealers that are physical based already, like I mentioned. Uh, I feel like having more physical damage based heroes might not help you that much. You want to start focusing or try to diversify a little bit to get like maybe fire or lightning, those things, those are the elements, right? That's just what I think. So now let's talk about Nicole Late right here. Is she... Uh, slightly better. As you can see, Plague Doctor right here. So this is one of the skill set. Again, physical damage. Uh, this one, deal physical in terms of the front row, and then one stack of Pestilence, meaning it's something related to bleed stacks again. And you can see she's all about bleed again, <laughs> similar, de increase the bleed damage. And then treats a foe, inflicting three stacks of bleed for the ultimate skill. Quite a lot of bleed right there. So let's have a look at the second skill. Now this one, she has fire skill, which I do like. Uh, she heals right here. She's a healer on the other one. Attacks her foes two times and have a chance to burn them with 50%. And then this one grants a doll two charges of extra chili. Meaning that if the doll deals fire damage, they will deal 100% bonus attack and it's stackable as well. Ultimate skill increase a doll's attack and defense by 15% for two turns and maximum HP by 25%. Apparently this is stackable. But yeah, as far as I know, looking at both their skills, it's nothing as amazing as what Gawana can provide. So in terms of trying to pull a character, if you guys, you know, you're trying to get anyone, I would say just try to get Gawana because I feel like she's one of the better characters out right now in terms of the dolls. I really think she's really broken. Uh, she allows me to be able to auto the Abyss Reef easily without having to do anything. Like I just leave it on auto, just pick whatever runes that I have and she's really, really strong. So let's have a look at the new verbs though. As you can see, the new verbs is like this Lolly, Lil Hibiscus, and Death Whisperer. Uh, for Lil Hibiscus, she's more focused on including Wilder damage done per stack on Bleed. So she's very good to pair with any of these two characters if you want to pull them for the Bleed damage. Again, Bleed is pretty broken as far as I know, but it's just that I feel like most players don't really struggle with damage. I think most players struggle with survivability. And then looking at the Death Whisper, so this one bleed damage plus 20% and empowers the wielder's single attack to inflict two stacks of bleed and AOA attacks to inflict one stack of bleed with a 40% chance. So the Verf and this particular uh, banner right here, they correlate with each other. So if you are pulling for any of these two characters, either Ruri or Nicolette, to try to get them for the bleed damage, then Starry Ocean right now, as you can see the red up, is pretty good. Like you get all of these verbs that are good with the these two dolls that you're trying to pull. Now for me, like I said, I'm going to skip them for now and maybe wait for the next one. Uh, if you guys are not aware, we also have a new event going on right now. 
So in the Spring's Arrival, so we have this login event, so you just gotta log in for 7 days. Uh, hopefully you guys are not too late into this. Uh, if you log in on day 4, you get 2 of these Lunar cards, and then seven day 7 you get 200 crystals. Which is like equivalent to one pool, not that big of a deal, but hey, you gotta stack up those diamonds, right? Picnic party, you can see, spring gifts can be found by harvesting crops, completing part-time jobs, collecting ally chests during the event period. Alright, so keep that in mind, this is something that you guys have to start doing. Speaking of allies chess, uh, something that I haven't been doing is adding friends. So um, if you guys want to add friends, feel free to add me as well. How do I show my ID? I think you can only find people via the ID, right? So this is my ID. Uh, feel free to use the comment section of this video if you guys are looking for more friends. So what are friends for, right? If you go to the um, home right here, right, you will notice that you can go to... Right, so there's this ability for you to visit on the left side. So you can visit your friend's uh, dormitory. So what do you actually get? You can have the ability to open some of these chests. These are called the allies chests. You actually have one of the dailies. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have tried to check it. You do get premium currency, which is very good. Uh, I would want to encourage players to try to do this every single day. So one of the quests, daily quests, is they want you to collect two ally chests. So again, feel free to add me as friends. I will try to uh, show my ID here again. I'm just going to copy it, hopefully paste it at the comment section below. Again, if you guys want to add me as friends, feel free to do so. Make sure you guys leave your ID below as well so, ish, so we can all add each other. I know there's not much players or community for this particular game right now. But hey, I hope, I hope we'll be able to, you know, at least help out some of the players who are playing the game. Alright, so with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of Soul Tide currently. It's a pretty chill game. I do like it. The banner pace, even though it's a bit fast, but yeah, sometimes you can just skip some banners. You don't necessarily need to pull for everyone. So yeah, subscribe, give this video a like, and if you guys have any other video suggestions, leave it in the comment section below as well. Have a nice day. Goodbye.